just recruit, you know, just writing down my list over here for the cameras. You know? Are you rolling up there? I'm rolling up there, bro. It's rolling, dude. All right. Welcome let's get to this road on the show. Let's get this road on you the show. I mean? Antiques Road Show. Yeah. All right. This is what are we calling this thing? We're not calling it anything. We're calling this it is this what the, we did at Honey House. The, what we did, the Get Shit Done podcast. <laughs> the, this week at Honey House, the, uh, the Grind Never Stops. Nope. The Honey Harvesters pod. The honey's always dripping. That drip, so sweet, <laughs> last week in the house with Honey House. All right, you got a list going there on your cool whiteboard desk. <sighs> my, I got my whiteboard desk, got my camera up here. I feel like uh, Casey Neistat right now. <laughs> you know? uh, that top-down view. That top so down. we're going to just break down what we worked on this past week. All right, rent history. Rent History. So, uh, Rent History is a project that we uh, really is kind of a hybrid uh, uh, and really more of like an internal project. Yeah. That we are um, building out art inspired uh, rental properties here in Arizona um, with some partners, uh, family, friends, family members. Uh, and the two of us leading the uh, experience side and the property management. So been diving into all sorts of tech and uh, and also what would you call it? Home automation. Home maybe. automation. Home decor. Home decor. Uh, bedding. Yeah, we know all all I'll sorts bet. of. <laughs> we don't actually own the properties, but we are helping figure out all. The details. Yeah, all the logistics, all the experience side for people staying in the properties. So, yeah. uh, really fun project. Uh, we get a, you know, a mix of creativity on the marketing and digital side, but then also really fun to like get in the space and, yeah. and make some beds. Them. Yeah, make some beds. You know? <laughs> so, this last week we had Super Bowl upon us here in phoenix glendale we and we had one of the properties that was booked out yeah and the other two were not booked out and no. despite all the hype in the media that you can rent your place for three grand a night that actually wasn't the case not not real so what we did is we jumped on facebook and we joined i don't know how many like super bowl glendale rentals yeah groups and we just hounded it just got the word out just got the word out. Any way possible. Replying to people's comments, yep. posting the properties, yeah, um, direct messaging people. And there was a lot of homes that were trying to get booked. Yeah, it was crazy. And then literally Saturation. like Thursday night, I think it was, we got yeah, like a handful of inquiries and two people booked and f filled up our spaces. So it was... Crazy, kind of a crazy whirlwind. I mean, even the week, the two weeks before that, filling the spaces, getting our first tenants in each space was. I mean, we were just working around the clock, <laughs> yeah. getting these I things. I think we worked like eight a.m. to eight p.m. that day, getting yeah. them ready. Uh, and the the gas was off in one of them. A tenant showing up <laughs> the next morning had to figure all that out. Had to. Last so this house is literally going to be demolished in six months. So yeah. the owner just wants to see what he can do with it. So, yeah, they had shut off the gas, yeah. the home. And we won't so go into to, detail how we got it back on. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> had to get that up and running, ready for the guest, and just in time. I yeah. feel like it was, it was crazy. So those houses are humming now a little bit. Still got some details to work out with them, but most are good. Yeah going well it's exciting it's a lot of a lot of fun kind of a different type of project yeah it's a good time did 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 dr chip webb is that what we have next that's what we have next all right dr chip webb let's 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 throw it down dude what do we do? what do we got going on with dr webb so dr webb we meet with him every week 
Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes in person, t- sometimes on the phone. Usually, chop it up with him for like an hour, two hours. Yeah. Uh, right now, we are focused on rebuilding his like presence on Google and mm-hmm. his website and just his personal brand. And so we were taking a look at his Google listing, get like photos updated there. Um, we had shot a bunch of content of him at his office mm-hmm. and then yeah. website. Sean's been plugging and chugging on a new website. Yeah. So Chip came to us. He's a good friend, um, has a, an amazing dental practice, you know, really um, just quality uh, office team, everything. But but Chip's the kind of guy that wants to always be pushing himself to grow and and learn and and just continue to build his business. And so he um, came to us about building his veneer um, cosmetics business, his cosmetic dentistry side of his business as its own kind of um, practice within the practice. And so we've helped him really. Uh, create an identity for that as Dr. Chip Webb, cosmetic dentistry, and yeah, a lot of um, successful campaigns that we've been rolling out with him for Black Friday, holidays, um, really just trying to raise awareness about the quality and the care that he takes in, um, you know, creating these natural smiles for people. And it's a lot of fun to help a homie uh, to work with a friend and to just yeah. see the input output. I feel like yeah. it's like oh, yeah. a very direct, the more we put into this, more re- awareness, you know, the more people are, are booking him for um, virtual consults and then coming into the office. And, and I think he's already had, you know, about 10 new clients uh, over the past, you know, two or three months come yeah. in through these efforts, which yeah. is, which is big when, when you're talking about veneers and, and custom, uh, dentistry. So this week we've been really, yeah, focusing on website, wanting to really build, you know, the, the framework of who Dr. Webb is, what he's all about and have a place for that to kind of stand on its own. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, and actually, actually, yeah, meeting with him today. I think one of the reasons we're doing this here right here is because of what Chip said in a podcast, the podcast, oh, yeah. the Build Stuff Be Kind Rhythm. He talked about people don't know what you do until you tell them what you do. So true. It's like such a simple thing, but we just... So now we're... So here we are telling you... We're on that grind. What we do. Trying to, Thanks, trying to Chip. peel back the curtain a little bit on... Peel back the onion. Yeah, what it is that we do here at Honey House, which is, is a lot, uh, uh, but a lot of exciting work. Yeah. So okay. five, uh, CG five. So CG five, um, is a nonprofit CG five thrive, CG5 a nonprofit, thrive, yeah. um, that, uh, the artist CG five and his family are developing and rolling out this year, uh, to help, uh, support, uplift, um, really, unlock the hopes and dreams of adults with developmental differences. And so that's been a really it's cool kinda experience. kind of like make a wish, but for mm-hmm. grownups. Yeah. Which is a really cool concept because a lot of times you just think about kids and then, but these kids get older sometimes. And Yeah. Yeah. And being able to, to really help them. Kids get older sometimes. You know, feel I mean, appreciated and, and yeah. seen and, and valued and that they, you know, have hopes and dreams and, and really, you know, through this program, we'll be able to unlock a piece of that and, and then continue to build on that, which yeah. is super cool. So we've uh, worked with them to build out a full website, donation page, nomination page. Um, brand Bible. Brand Bible, as well as a video, video. introducing um, the project. And this week, we kind of finalized... Um, uh, our scope with them, they had one, uh, one sh- kind of final request, a um, one sheet, a one sheet that they can send out to media and, um, the music industry contacts that they have about the program, um, and share with them to donate. So kind of a, uh, a condensed version of all the work that we've done, put into one sheet that they can then share out, um, which was like cool to kind of see how quick, like, 
you could put all that information on there because we had already worked through mm -hmm. the weeds yeah, of the brand bible yeah what their brand was going to stand for how they're going to show up yeah their the mission, colors values, the vibe the colors yeah totally yeah so it just goes to show that doing those things for your brand just makes it easier to let people know who you are quickly yeah. through, you know, like a one sheet. Totally. Thing. You can condense it all down now that it's all been thought out and yeah. figured out. So true. Uh, so that's been so, cool. Um, Got to grab my beverage. Yeah. Beverage time. Maybe. Need more beverage? Yeah, grab, grab mine. It's right there, I think. Yeah, dude, the big cube. This is th you want to talk about these big cubes? This, these big cubes are a problem in my house. So, why? So we. It uh, looks like homemade. It is. It's ice, ice tray. Like ice tray. <laughs> so I've I've created wow. monsters in my children. They're addicted to ice. They know when dad's <laughs> rolling around the house with a cup like this. It's got ice ready for them they to chomp on. on <laughs> and our ice machine broke. We bought a pebble ice machine on Amazon that tasted like plastic, so oh, it's literally in my truck to send back. Oh, really? I'll do that today. I have a broken one at my house, too. Um, and so so I found these trays because I was sick of not having ice, and I have to have ice. I'm like, I have to have a cold beverage. I know. <laughs> and uh, so I, bought, I got these ice trays out of the closet or wherever the cabinet started using them. Now my children are literally screaming at me because I can't provide my one-year-old with the ice oh. that he wants. <laughs> so the ice new snacks. hack is I've been taking these, putting them into our ice maker that's broken in the fridge that has a crush oh, feature, crush. Yeah. crush it up, give him his own little cup so he can satisfy his ice. Do you need, help? Do you need Honey House to come in and help you figure out your ice uh, yeah, situation? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right, add it to the list. Dude. Okay, um, let's talk about podcasts. BJ and Create Forward. Yeah. Let's break it down. B -b 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 break it down. Boom. So we have... Content um, game. A uh, friend of mine, uh, his name's BJ. He has a company called Property Rush. Rush. Property Spot. Mm -hmm. Property Rush. Anyway, he's been wanting to, for a long time, uh, get a podcast going and talk to... Uh, I think he's going to call it Rush to Fail. We m might still be working through the name. But the idea, the concept is he's going to talk to people and have them talk about their failures and how they grew and learned from it. So I don't know how long this has been sitting in BJ's mind. Probably it seemed like for a yeah. long time. Yeah. Um, but we just had some initial meetings, some phone conversations. We had several emails going back and forth just mm -hmm. to kind of figure out uh, pricing and how we wanted to approach things. And we had our first kind of uh, pre-production content meeting this yep. week where we just dial in some more things for him and we're going to get it rolling. Yeah, it's exciting. It's so, cool to see um, that, that we can be that unlock for people. He's got this idea. He, you know, has the expertise. He has the knowledge. He has the experience, the relationships, the connections. Um, but really the last thing that he needs to figure out is how to, record audio and video and Shoot produce it. a podcast Put it so, out to the world um, since we have all this equipment available and and have a really nice setup here we've been um, kind of expanding that as as an offering to help um, creatives entrepreneurs builders you know that, that have something to say and and have been wanting to do that in the form of content podcast YouTube uh, we're 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 producing that. Yeah. Um, another great example of that is Create Forward. Uh, Ward Andrews. Yep. We recorded his intro episode last week or a couple weeks back. Uh, I've been working on the edit for that. It's it's getting really close. Um, and actually tomorrow he's coming in to shoot two to four uh, additional episodes. So the next you know um, more kind of dialed in episodes for the Create Forward podcast, which is all about creativity, finding your creative flow, you know, pushing yourself forward, using creativity as really uh, a massive resource to unlock, you know, uh, opportunities in yeah. your life. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's cool. Uh, I'm excited have, for it. He's got like a whiteboard and yeah, it, it gets, feels like he's a professor at ASU, right? Uh -huh. So he's yeah, bringing a UI UX designer, yeah. agency owner, just 
super creative dude who's who knows this stuff. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of value from what we're excited about. So that's another thing is like doing these projects with BJ and with Ward, these podcasts. It's fun to do them because we're actually excited about yeah the content that they're putting out. And, totally. And they're fun to work on. So yeah. yeah, we had a quick meeting with Ward this week. It was just like half hour. Mm-hmm. Planned out the next couple episodes that we'll be shooting tomorrow. So yeah, more on that. Um, we cleaned our office this we week. We did a much needed uh, <laughs> task. We got this. We moved some things around. We have uh, some homies moving into a spare office. Uh, the Strap Photo Club crew, uh, Matt and Casey, uh, are officially moving in. I guess as of yesterday, Matt moved a few things in, and and they're moving their photo operations. Yes. To, in the honey house. We're now developing Fancy. photos in here. Exposable like cameras. A Walgreens. Yeah. It's gonna be We promise we won't look at your pictures. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a good time. So <laughs> excited to have them uh, in the mix, but but man, how nice yeah. is it to have an organized clean? Oh, office? okay. So we have this room. Maybe we'll get a we'll th- we'll throw up a picture of it here. Yeah. We have this room that has our fridge and it's like a kitchen, but it's also the gear room. And Sean did a Costco run that was really, really fantastic. And we had a lot of beverages and snacks. Yeah. And they were just, like, on the floor, like, for weeks. <laughs> we warm be- and no one wants a warm beverage. <laughs> yeah. And just, like, buckets of stuff. So we went, what did we do? Like, we set apart, was it? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Two hours. Yeah. And just went in there and plugged. And now I was just telling Sean, it's so nice to walk in that room. <laughs> it, and have it, cold beverages is. in the like, fridge. Like. It went from being the room that no one really <laughs> wanted to go in to get a drink to like, oh, I'll hang out in here for a while. It's the room where a guest comes over and you just close the door. Yeah, and, you know, yep, that, that's that room. But now it's like, yeah, go hang out in there. I might move so, my office into there. So, yeah, yeah we, what's we the What's the, like, creative flow? It's like you know, going back to create forward and, and creativity hacks. Mm. There's something to be said about like changing things up, yeah. cleaning up your space. Yep. And and like oh like doing that in a lot of ways unlocked to us doing this. Yeah. And like it like you don't know what it, it leads to. And it it's the same way with my kids. We have a playroom at our house. Eighty percent of the time the place is trashed. As mm-hmm. soon as it and they're all just like hanging out downstairs and then we clean the playroom and it's like, Oh, where's our kid? Oh, they're in the playroom. Yeah. They're like using the space totally. and, and using their imaginations, that kind of thing. So yeah, yeah there's something to be said for allowing yourself like space to do things yeah. in. Hundred percent. And and we like basically have had this corner sitting here for yeah. months with like Look at it now. You know, and now it's got uh, a clock a set up. We got a clock up here that's halfway cropped out. We've got <laughs> now this desk here that we can do our thing. Um, and so it's yeah, it's just like being able to. We got like you know space, space. Um, but yeah, that's been that's been a huge unlock. Um, yeah, and then the final thing we've been cranking on, it's it's a, a mix of a Honey House project and, and something I'm very involved in is re-emerging into Keep Nature Wild. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's been, uh, we produced a photo shoot, uh, video shoot for the launch of a uh, new collection over there. We'll produced and ran the show basically helping coordinate organize logistics of models talent locations rentals all things all the details food um, food most importantly mm. food beverage snack Bev- operations <laughs> uh and uh and we were able to create some really great content in the and going well how yeah how has it been received yeah the drop has has been a really like well performing, well like um, received from from the community wild customers and and just the overall like vibe of the content. Like everyone on the team has been just super impressed and excited, and it feels like a shift of energy that we've been able to bring over there. Yeah. Through, like really approaching the content in a way of how does this connect with the people that it serves, and that's I think maybe a good way to wrap up is like really you know we've we've shared 
a lot of kind of disconnected, maybe disjointed projects that we're working on. But I think the thread that connects all of them is like, we really try to focus on how is your product, service, brand, company going to connect with the customers that you serve in the most meaningful way? Mm -hmm. Like, that's really what Honey House is all about. We're, we're all about finding, you know, those nuggets, finding that honey in the relationship you have with, with your customers, with, um, with the community, and just, like, how to, how to find that, hone it in, and then how to really amplify, like, that connection. So yeah. uh, we're super excited to kind of continue this on a weekly basis, sharing exactly what we've been doing, what we've been working on, um, the nuggets of, of wisdom. Ice. You know, the Just little, kidding. Cubes of ice, little, not nuggets. Oh, yeah, the nuggets of <laughs> the giant cubes of ice uh, that we find along the way. And uh, hopefully it brings some value as we share more of kind of our – our day to day and we'll, we'll mix in, you know, uh, not just, you know, here's what we're doing, which is a big part sharing with you guys what it is that we're actually doing, but also, um, some value for you to apply to your business or, yeah. or whatever it is you're working on. Yep. Beautiful. There it is. The honey, is. the honey, honey weekly, the honey weekly, the, <laughs> the grind of all time this past week. In the house of honey. Peace out.